This ocean scene was modeled, rendered, and animated all within Form Z. Each object represents a different modeling or animation feature, and there is a separate demo for each of them. In this presentation, I will model and animate the shark. Okay, here we're starting out with a picture of a shark mapped to the side, and a picture of the bottom of the shark mapped to an image on the bottom here. First thing I'll do is trace the top edge of this shark with a two-dimensional B spline. So let me just click a few times along the top edge of this shark. Now you'll notice that this line is drawn in 3D space here as I pan to the side. So let me go now and uh, turn on some pre-drawn lines that form the top and bottom and side edges of the shark. You'll notice a little break here between the lines that form the head and the body. That will permit me to get a little bit more detail in the head without having a lot more detail in the entire body. So I'm selecting these lines first, and what I'll do is use the NURBS cross section tool, and this will put a certain number of cross sections along those lines. You can see it just trace circles along all those lines. Now let me hit undo. And I'll check an additional feature of Create Surface, and that will just loft all of those cross sections together for me, thus forming the body. Now I'll do the same thing with the head. This time, though, I'm going to add an additional feature, which will uh, round the start of those lines down to 100%, which will effectively close that nose off. All right, next we want to connect the body to the head, so I'll use my Attach NURBS tool with a Merge. I'll just select the two edges that I want to sew together and there we have the body of the shark. Now for the tail I'll do something slightly different. This is just going to be a loft, so let me select these cross sections. The cross sections are nothing more than a teardrop shape that has been positioned and scaled to form the shape that I would like. So I'll use loose lofting and I'll just click to wrap a surface over those. Now I'm going to use a different type of uh, option with this NURBS tool to create this bottom fin. And what we have here are four lines drawn in 3D space. If I zoom in on a corner, you'll notice that those lines aren't even touching at the corners. I'll do a boundary curve, or by boundary curves, and that will just stretch a little surface across all of those lines for me. Next, we want to create the dorsal fin. I've pre-drawn lines to match that image. And what we have here are a couple cross sections and several paths that connect those cross sections. Now I've drawn those so I can use the skin tool. So what we do is essentially a loft with these three cross sections and then we have these four paths that I'm selecting here and the paths will dictate the shape of the surface in between the cross sections. So that's kind of what, it dif what differentiates the skin tool from just a loose loft, for example. Alright, here's the dorsal fin and since the uh, little side fin of the shark looks similar enough to the dorsal fin, I'm going to be a little bit lazy and just make a duplicate of this dorsal fin. So let me use a rotate with a copy. I'll just rotate around here, um, kind of eyeballing this a little bit. So let me go to my move tool, move it up so it's connected to the body. And uh, just for a little extra tweaking, I'm going to use my transform tool. Uh, you'll notice it's going about local coordinates right now. Let me go by world coordinates and I'll just drag that forward a little bit. Okay, that looks good. All right, now we just have these two fins on the one side, so let's make a mirror image of those fins to the other side. That way the shark won't be swimming in a circle all the time. So I'll do one copy, a mirror image, and let me turn on my grid snap. That'll make it real easy to snap a little mirror image over there. All right, so those are our other fins. Next, let's carve some detail in the face. So I'm going to turn on some solids that I've pre-drawn. I just went to a side view and traced the uh, image of the shark. And I'm going to use these solids to trim away the surface of the shark. So I also want to do a stitch round. Let me set the radius of that round. And I'll select the body of the shark and that cylinder. And you can see we've got a little eye hole there that's rounded at the edge. I'll do the same thing with the mouth, and lastly I'll do the same thing again with the gills. So let me go back to a shaded view, and you'll see our shark here. I'll turn on some spheres I've got positioned to form the eyes. Next, 
I'm gonna turn on a version of the shark that's a little bit more complete. It's basically been trim stitched so that all the fins are connected to the body. So you can see now a radius there between the side fins and the body. And I wanna give this a little color. So I've preset a surface style using an image that I drew in Photoshop. That's what this looks like here. And I'm gonna project that image onto the shark from the side, kind of like a slide projector is uh, shooting an image up onto a wall. That's what we call a flat map. So there is our shark. Next, let me zoom out. I want to make that shark swim, so I'm going to turn on a line for him to swim along. I'm going to use the Bend Along Curve tool, and I'm going to do a little trick with this. So let me uh, set a few parameters, and then I'll select the shark and the path. And what I've set here with Preserve Original Size is I'm not changing the original size of the shark. I'm just having it bend along whatever portion of the path that it fits along. And by changing this percentage is how I control the position of the shark along that line. So by moving that position, I'm making the shark appear as though it's swimming along the path. Now you see these little red dots. If I add track, that means I can have Formsy keep track of that parameter over time. And if I move my uh, current time in the timeline and change that track again, Formsy will remember those two positions as keyframes and interpolate between the two. And this is how we have effectively made the shark appear as though it's swimming along the ocean. Here's the final movie of the shark, modeled, rendered, and animated within Formsy.